Hi, my name is Courtney Mackay, and today I'm going to walk you through a quick demo of Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler. Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler reduces the time it takes to aggregate and prepare data for machine learning from weeks to minutes. By simplifying the tasks of data selection, exploratory data analysis, data cleaning, and feature engineering, data scientists can spend more time building machine learning models. Additionally, SageMaker Data Wrangler's visual interface and transformation and analysis options enable rapid iteration, meaning that you get to build higher quality models in much less time. In this demo, we will use Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler to streamline the data preparation and feature engineering steps of building a credit risk prediction model. We will use a version of the German Credit Risk dataset found in the UCI Machine Learning Repository. This labeled dataset is a suitable training dataset for building a model to predict new applicants' credit risk based on their individual characteristics. The data contains 1,000 entries, each representing an individual loan applicant labeled as high risk or low risk. For each individual, there are demographic, employment, and financial attributes that may be associated with an applicant's likelihood of being a high or low credit risk. Further explanation of each attribute can be found on the UCI repository website. But for the purposes of this demo, we've gone ahead and saved a modified version of the data in Amazon S3 that we can download and then store in our own Amazon S3 bucket. We'll use SageMaker Data Wrangler to prepare and analyze the data and to conduct feature engineering. We will also discuss SageMaker Data Wrangler's integration with other SageMaker features. We'll then talk through the options to export the entire data flow for use as a transformation pipeline as you look to use the process data to train a credit risk prediction model. In order to follow along with this demo, you'll need to navigate to Amazon SageMaker Studio and download the sample data before proceeding with building out your data flow. Let's get started by navigating to the SageMaker console. Once in the SageMaker console, select Amazon SageMaker Studio in the top left corner of the screen or using the button on the right. SageMaker Studio provides a single web-based visual interface where you can perform all machine learning development steps. Once we're in the SageMaker Studio control panel, we can see all SageMaker Studio users associated with my account. If there are no users, you can create one by clicking the Add User icon. I already have a default user set up, so I will select Open Studio to be taken to SageMaker Studio. Once in SageMaker Studio, the Launcher window provides access to machine learning components, including SageMaker Feature Store and SageMaker Data Wrangler. On the left, you can see my folder structure, and here I've already started a folder to contain the data flow that I will build and any other files that I might create in this demo. We'll now download and save the sample data set in the default Amazon S3 bucket associated with your Amazon SageMaker session or in another S3 bucket of your choice. You can copy the code in the post linked in the comment section of this video and paste it into a SageMaker notebook. Run the code which will download the sample dataset from the sample data S3 bucket and then upload it to your own S3 bucket. You can specify the location of the S3 bucket where you would like to save the data if you prefer. The data has now been uploaded to your Amazon S3 bucket and an additional copy has been saved in your folders on the left. 
Great. Now back in the launcher, let's get started with SageMaker Data Wrangler by clicking on New Data Flow. Alternatively, I can always use the File menu to start a new flow. There are multiple data source options for uploading the data. One is directly from S3, or you can use Amazon Athena, Amazon's serverless interactive query service. Amazon Redshift is another potential option when importing data. We start by selecting Amazon S3 under Import Data and navigate to the location of the German credit data.csv file that you stored in S3. We select Import Dataset. This is the start of our data flow, and next, we can add analysis and transformation steps to our data before exporting all of the steps as a complete data flow. SageMaker Data Wrangler includes a built-in analysis capability that helps you generate visualizations and data analyses using available analysis functions. You can also create custom analyses using your own code. You can add an analysis to a data frame at any stage in your data flow by selecting the plus line and choosing Add Analysis. Let's start an analysis to look at some summary statistics of our currently untransformed data. From the data flow view, I select Add Analysis. This opens a view where I can visualize data using histograms, scatter plots, and more. From the Analysis Type drop down, I select Table Summary and click Preview. SageMaker Data Wrangler generates a table of statistics similar to the Pandas dataframe.describe method. We may also want to understand the presence of missing data in the dataset or view column data types. Let's navigate back to the data flow view by selecting the Prepare tab at the top. Back in the data flow, I can select Add Transform. In this Transform view, data transformation options are listed in the window on the right, including an option to add in a custom transform step. Select Python Pandas from the drop-down menu and type df.info into the code editor. Clicking Preview will run the snippet of Python code. I can inspect the data frame info here in the right-hand pane while also looking at the data on the left-hand side. The process of exploring the dataset, or exploratory data analysis, often involves using charts and visuals to understand distributions or correlations amongst potential features. Back in the data flow view, select Add Analysis, Histogram, and let's look at the distribution of credit risk across individuals in the dataset. We can quickly see that approximately one-third of the individuals in the dataset are labeled as high risk, whereas two-thirds of the dataset are labeled as low risk. To look at the distribution of risk across different variables, we select age as the x-axis and color by risk. We can see in this chart that the proportion of high-risk individuals is higher in younger age groups compared to older age groups. We can continue exploring relationships between variables utilizing the color by and faucet by options in addition to other analysis types such as scatter plots. SageMaker Data Wrangler contains numerous built-in data transformations so that we can quickly clean, normalize, transform, and combine features.
Using SageMaker Data Wrangler, we can leverage these built-in data transformations without needing to write any code. Or we can write custom transforms for additional flexibility. We'll do both in this demo. Back in the data flow view, I start transforming the data set by selecting the plus sign and choosing Add Transform. This opens a new view showing the first few lines of the data set, as well as a list of 300 plus built in transforms. Let's start with modifying the status sex column. This column contains two values, sex and marital status. We will first split the string into a list of two values separated by the delimiter, the colon. Choose Search and Edit from the list of transform options. Select Split String by Delimiter from the drop-down menu. Select the input column to be status 6. Type in the delimiter and give the output column a name. I will just call it VEC since it's a temporary column that stores the list of the sex and marital status values. I will further flatten this column in the next step. Select Preview to review the change. and then Add. To flatten the column VEC that I just created, I apply a Managed Vectors Transform and use the Flatten option, indicating the input column and a prefix for naming the outputs. I preview the results. The outputs are two columns, sex split 0, the sex column, and sex split 1, the marital status column. I'll go ahead and add this step to our flow. To easily identify the features, I rename these two columns to sex and marital status using the manage columns transform. I'll select Rename Column and rename the two features. The current credit risk classification is indicated by string values in the risk column where low risk means that the user has good credit and high risk means the user has bad credit. We need to encode this target or label variable as a numeric categorical variable where zero indicates low risk and one indicates high risk. To do that, we will choose encode categorical Selecting Ordinal Encode, output the revised feature to the output column, Target. The Classification column now indicates zero for low risk and one for high risk. Now let's encode the other categorical string variables. Starting with existing checking, we can again use ordinal encode 
if we consider the categories no account, none, little, and moderate to have an inherent order. Leaving the output column blank, we'll replace the existing feature with the encoded feature. For greater control over the encoding of ordinal variables, let's select Custom Transform and use Python Pandas. To create a new custom transform for the dataset. Starting with savings, we will represent the five string categories indicating amount of money available in a savings account as numeric values between 0 and 4. Unknown will be 0, little will be 1, moderate will be 2, high 3, and very high will be encoded as 4. We'll enter the custom code in the text editor cell. There is a hint in the code editor that reminds you that our data table is referenced as df. Also, remember to select add after previewing the results. We'll repeat this process to encode employment since. Other categorical variables that do not have an inherent order will also need to be transformed. We can use the encode categorical transform to one-hot encode these nominal variables. We'll one-hot encode housing, job, sex, and marital status. So back in the encode categorical transform, let's start by encoding housing by selecting one-hot encode with housing as the input column and the output style columns. We can one hot encode the housing feature. After adding this step, we'll repeat for the remaining three nominal variables, job, sex, and marital status. Finally, once all of the categorical variables have been encoded, we can address the numerical values. In particular, we may want to scale the numerical values, such as credit amount, to improve the performance of our future machine learning model. We can do this by selecting the process numeric transform. From here, we have the option of selecting between standard, robust, min-max, or max absolute scalers. We'll scale credit amount as an example. Before exporting the data, we'll remove the original string categorical columns that we encoded to numeric columns so that our feature dataset contains only numbers and hence is machine readable for training machine learning models. Select Manage Columns, Drop Column, and drop all of the original categorical columns that contain string values, such as status sex, Risk, and the temporary column VEC.
As a final step, some machine learning algorithms, such as XGBoost, expect the first column in the dataset to be the label or target variable. Use the Manage Columns transform to move the target variable to the first column in the dataset. The target column is now our first column, and the remaining feature columns are all numeric. Navigating back to the data flow, we see that our data flow contains a series of transforms. You may want to scale other numeric columns or consider details of one hot encoding, but let's check out how your new data flow integrates with other Amazon SageMaker features. Amazon SageMaker Clarify provides machine learning developers with greater visibility into their training data and models so they can identify and limit bias and explain predictions. SageMaker Clarify functionality is available directly within SageMaker Data Wrangler as an analysis option. So go ahead and add an analysis. We'll select Bias Report from the Analysis Type dropdown. Let's explore class imbalance or bias connected to the feature sex. Select target as the target. Predicted value as one. And sex male as a column to analyze for bias. Click check for bias to bring up the bias report. We see here from the default metrics that we may have a slight class imbalance related to gender. We may want to consider a sampling strategy to rebalance the dataset, and we can continue to explore biases related to other features using the SageMaker Clarify bias reports. Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler helps us transform our data and conduct feature engineering in preparation for using the features to train a machine learning model. So how do we know if our data is ready for modeling? Let's look at the quick model visualization, also available as an analysis step in the data flow. We use the plus sign to add an analysis, and now we'll select the quick model option from the analysis type dropdown. Let's select target as the label. The quick model visualization displays a chart indicating the importance of each feature in predicting the target label. We see here that existing checking, credit amount, and duration of loan, as well as age, are all important features related to credit risk. We may decide to remove other features that are not important in our prediction by adding additional manage column transforms to our data flow. You'll see that the quick model provides an F1 score. If your problem is a regression problem, you can expect to see a value representing mean squared error here instead. Once you have completed your data transformation steps and analysis, we can conveniently export our data preparation workflow using the export function. We'll go to the export tab, select the last step in our data flow so that we export all of the steps, and then click export. When you export your data flow, you have the option of exporting to first, a notebook running the data flow as an Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler job. Exporting as a Data Wrangler job and running the resulting notebook will take the data processing steps defined in your .flow file and generate a SageMaker processing job to execute these steps on your entire source dataset, providing you with a way to save process data as a CSV or Parquet file to S3. Second, a notebook running the data flow as an Amazon SageMaker pipeline workflow. 
With SageMaker ML Pipelines, you can create end-to-end -end workflows that manage and deploy SageMaker jobs responsible for data preparation, model training, and model deployment. By exporting your Data Wrangler flow to SageMaker Pipelines, a Jupyter Notebook is created that, when run, will define a data transformation pipeline following the data processing steps defined in your flow file. Third, Python code replicating the steps in the Data Wrangler data flow. Exporting as a Python file enables you to manually integrate the data processing steps defined in your flow into any data processing workflow. And finally, a notebook pushing your process features to Amazon SageMaker Feature Store. By exporting to the SageMaker Feature Store and running the resulting notebook, your data can be processed as a SageMaker processing job and then ingested into an online and offline feature store. Let's look at the first option, exporting the data flow as a Data Wrangler job. Exporting to a Data Wrangler job will automatically generate a SageMaker notebook pre-populated with code to launch your data flow as a SageMaker processing job. Conveniently, the notebook also provides an example on how to use the resulting process data as an input for a SageMaker XG Boost training job. By providing both the code to launch your newly created data flow as your data transformation and feature engineering processing job, and providing a template to fit a SageMaker estimator using SageMaker's XG Boost container image, this export option provides a great start in using the data flow to prepare data and train a model to predict credit risk. This export option provides a great start in using the data flow to prepare data and train a model to predict credit risk. In this demo, we explored how to use Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler to explore and transform the dataset create ordinal and one-hot encoded features from the categorical variables, and finally, scale our numerical features to create a dataset that is ready for training a machine learning model to predict credit risk among credit applicants. As you can see, Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler makes it easy to work interactively on data preparation steps before transforming them into code that can be used immediately for machine learning model experimentation and production. Give it a try and let us know what you think.